So here is question number 16 from the logical reasoning section of ACET 2023 question paper. Question number 66 here. Uh, a cuboid of dimension 45 cm, 75 cm and 90 cm is to be divided into identical cubes of side x cm. What is the maximum possible value of x? So whenever we have to find out the maximum possible value of x, okay, given the dimension, um, so that means we are talking about HCF. So here we have to find out the HCF of 45, 75 and 90. What are the common factors here? 15 into 4, 15 into 5, 15 into 6. Thus, the highest common factor here is 15. So, definitely the maximum possible value of x is 15. That is option C. Right. Now, let's move on to the next question. Basically, here we have to find out the odd option. Okay. So, here we are given some sequences. Okay. So, identify the sequence among the given options which does not follow the same logical order as the other three sequences. So, find the odd one out. Let us have a look at the options. Okay. The first one is basically a food chain. Grass, grasshopper, frog, snake, hop. Right. Okay. Next one is uh, sentence, paragraph, section, chapter, book. Household, uh, village, block, district, state, chromosome, nucleus, cell, tissue, body. Okay. So, out of these, okay, um, so this B, C, D here, right? So, basically, these three um, do not talk about anything biological, right? Um, like, like food chain. So, it is only uh, the food chain that we are talking about here, correct? That is... Um, <clears throat> grass to grasshopper to frog to snake to hop, right? Um, so this is going to be the odd one out, okay? Because here the logical sequence is not correct. It should be the other way around, right? Because um, hop consumes snake, snake consumes frog, frog consumes grasshopper and the grasshopper consumes grass, right? So, uh, that's why A is the correct option. Okay, next. Right, so this is a blood relation question. Okay, interesting. Mm, right. So C has four grandsons. D, son of C, has siblings X and E. Okay. So basically, C has four grandsons, right? D, son of C has siblings S and P. So basically, D, X and P are siblings. Okay? And this is, D is the son of C. Okay? One of the sons out of four. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So, D is the son of C and C has four grandsons. So, X and P are two grandsons out of the four grandsons. Okay. Now, but has no kids. Okay. D, son of C, has siblings X and P, but has no kids. Right. So that means here is an, another declaration that D is son of C, but D has no kids. That means D, X, and P. These three are siblings, basically. Okay. Now, S and M are the only nephews of P. Z and Y are grandsons of C. How are Z and S related? Okay. So, basically, here, um, X, P, and D, these are the three sons of C. Okay. Now, that means uh, D has no kid, but X and P has kids. Okay. So, D, let's write down like this. So, we will deal with D, X and P. So, these three are siblings. Now, D has no kids. Okay. And these two are siblings. But uh, let's see now. S and M are the only nephew of P. Nephew of P. Right. 
that means s and m are kids of x okay because he is the uncle here so they are nephew so these they, they uh, both of them are going to be the kids and z and y are grandsons of c okay so c is the father here and their son okay let's say son uh, i mean yes they are children of c d x and t okay d has no kids now s and m s and m is here so s and m kids of x okay and uh, z and y are grandson of c right so that means this is so obvious that z and y are basically kids of p because d has no kid and s and m are kids of x so obviously z and y are kids of p so now s and z are related how here is s here is z so obviously they are cousins right so let us see father and son no cousins yes so this is option b okay right question number 69 choose the set of three statements and the third statement can be logically derived okay right all turns are good so venn diagram let us go for venn diagram all turns are good let us say this is G that is good, and all turns are good, so obviously this is P that is turn, right? Now all cans are good, right? All cans are good. Some turns are cans, so I can say this is C, okay? Because all C will be within G, and some uh, turns are going to be cans, so this is it. No vans are cans, okay? Some vans are not good. Some cans are good. Okay. Now this is tricky here. See. Um, right. So no vans are cans. That means uh, this section will not be included. Okay. So no vans are cans. Okay. Now some vans are not good. So can they are not part of can and some part is not good. But some part of it is can be in good or cannot be in good. I, I am not sure about that. So I can draw V like this. Right? Because some vans are not good. Some van are not good. Right? No vans are can. So obviously we have no intersection between B and C. Okay, this is done. Now, some cans are good. Okay? So, this one, see. If you are saying all, then some will not be a part, right? So, since all cans are good, so definitely some cans are going to be good. All cans are good, then definitely some cans are going to be part of the good. Now, uh, choose the set of three statements where the third statement can be logically derived from the preceding two. Okay. So, here let us check the uh, questions. Right. Um, see, these, as I said, this makes no sense here. No vans are cans. Fine. Some vans are not good. So, these two cannot be linked or with anything else. It cannot be linked. So, we will not consider these two statements at all. Let us just strike it off. Okay. Now we have uh, A, B, C, F. Now all turns are good. Perfect. All cans are good. Some cans are good. Now see, all cans are good and some cans are good. Since all cans are good, definitely some of the cans uh, uh, are going to be the part of good. Right. So some turns are cans and some cans are good. See. This is, this can be related. A, B, A, C. Hence this, C. Okay, let us write it down like this. How can we derive it? All turns are good. So, let us say, this is A, this is B. Next statement. Some turns 
are cans. Okay. So this is A, this is C. So, so this these are say premises. The conclusion they write some cans are good. So this is B and this is C. Okay, so all turns are good, some turns are cans. That means some cans can be good, and this is perfectly right. So these two can be premises, and this can be concluded from these two premises easily. And that means, uh, okay, let me clear this out. So the statements are ACF. Um, this is the first premise, this is the second premise. And this is the conclusion. That is A C. This is the correct answer. Okay. Next, there are seven people A B C D E F G standing uh, in a row. Now B and E are the two ends. Okay. B and um, B and E are the two ends. Okay. C is standing exactly between G and D. Let us write down C. Um, let us write down G. Let us write down D. So we can change it later. Okay. Now A is standing to the immediate left of D. That means if I write down A here, then this this in this will be validated, right? So what can I do? Let's change the place. Let me write down D here and let me write down um, G here. So this statement still holds that C is between D and G and now I can write down A just immediate on the immediate left of D. Right? Now G is standing exactly between C and E. See? Yes. Here is C, here is E and here is G. So now who is standing to the immediate left of G? Of course C. So that means the correct answer is C which is option B. Okay. 